Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm Thomas and I'm one of the IELTS teachers here at Lango Learning System. These online sessions are designed to help you improve a certain aspect of one of the four key areas in your IELTS exam, in today's case writing, but hopefully you'll use these expressions in your speaking too. In this video I'm going to focus on giving you words and phrases that you can use in the opinion essay. They will facilitate you in expressing your ideas more clearly and convincingly. Let's get the ball rolling by looking at number one. All things considered. This phrase shares the same meaning as take something into consideration or take something into account. Persuasive. This is an adjective that we can use when we encounter a convincing argument or an idea. Above all. You can use this phrase to emphasise the main idea that you want to draw out from your essay. Importantly, use this word to signify that the next statement or idea is worthy of more attention than the previous one. Significantly, a very similar usage to importantly. Think of it as noticing an important factor or an aspect of something. For instance, or for example, it's quite familiar, right? It's when you want to introduce an example to strengthen or prove your point. Nevertheless, we use this word when we want to indicate an opposing idea to the one we've just mentioned. Provided that. It means that something can only manifest reliant on something else happening first, despite this. Use this when you want to indicate a point that stands, even if it's not that well supported. That said, Use this phrase when you need to introduce a statement which makes a concession or acknowledges a weakness in your point. We've finished the first 10 phrases. Next, I want you to pay more attention to make sure that the next 10 stick in your memory. In comparison, by contrast. We use this when we want to make a comparison between two or more contrasting ideas or pieces of evidence, or talk about their differences, respectively. On the other hand, we use this phrase when we want to introduce contrasting or opposing information. To say nothing of or not to mention, use this connecting phrase to add more details or information to your argument or point. Coupled with, use this phrase when you need to compare one idea with another. As well as, this phrase is also used to indicate a similar idea as and or also. Similarly, Use this word in the same way as likewise when you want to discuss something that is in accordance with what you've already mentioned. What's more? This phrase is another way of saying furthermore or number 18, moreover. This word is used at the beginning of the sentence, again as a connecting phrase to add more information to your ideas. That is to say, this phrase is used to make your ideas clearer or to add more explanations to strengthen your point. In other words, used to simplify an argument or to add a further explanation to clarify using different language to what you've used previously. The next 10 phrases will help you in writing an opinion essay too. Compelling. This is a synonym for persuasive or interesting. In conclusion, this states that you're going to come up with a conclusion or begin a concluding paragraph. Notably, use this when you want to emphasize an important part of a statement. To give an illustration, this signals that you will give more examples or a further explanation for your argument. Notwithstanding, this word can be used similarly to despite this. Nonetheless, it has the same meaning as notwithstanding. In light of or in view of, these phrases can be used when one idea opens up or links to another idea. With this in mind, use this phrase when you want the reader to analyse the statement based on the prior example. Yet, this word can be used to introduce a contrasting idea. Then again, its usage is the same as that said. And now let's look at the final 10 phrases. If you're still putting up with my monotonous drone and awful delivery, you're doing a much better job than most of my students. That's all for the lesson today. I hope that these phrases can help you in preparing for your IELTS writing exam. If you can apply them properly, your coherence will significantly improve and your band score will be enhanced. 
I really hope that you found this session helpful in providing you with some vocabulary for your IELTS test. If you'd like to sign up for an IELTS course here at Lango, please click on this link. Our IELTS courses are designed to cater to your individual needs and to provide personalised learning pathways. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that button to get notifications of my latest videos. I've been Thomas at Lango Learning System and please tune in for the next video. Bye.